Water locating for water wells. Almost everything you would need to know before having a water well drilled. You will be paying from 15000 to 50000 plus on a well system, depending on the driller you use. This PowerPoint is extensive, a wealth of knowledge. Peek into the well drilling industry, do's and don'ts. Table of contents for ease of navigating. Click any slide to review. Scroll up and down. With this information, you can make a more informed decision. This PowerPoint covers all the main questions that I still continually receive over the past 23 years. For high capacity water wells, you need to drill into a highly fractured system. Big water only collects in major fractures. This is the aquifer system. This is the heart of the aquifer where water flows more freely due to major fracturing, highly fractured zones. The heart of the aquifer is normally three to five hundred feet in depth. From the heart, fractures extend downward around 45 degrees. As fracturing extends downward, away from the heart of the aquifer, fractures become less and less. So the farther away you drill from the heart of the aquifer, the deeper you will have to drill, hoping the drill stem will intersect a fracture containing water at depth. Many non-productive wells extend past 600 feet down to 800, 1,000, 1,200 feet, even down to 1,600 feet. Most deep wells are non-productive, very expensive to drill, and the cost of electricity is more than the price of water. When an aquifer system passes through your parcel, we will see it, identify it 100% of the time. For a productive water well, you need to drill into the heart of the aquifer or as close to the heart as possible. If no aquifer passes through your parcel, do not drill, do not purchase the parcel. Advantages drilling into the heart of the aquifer. save in drilling expense 65 percent plus save in pumping electricity costs 50 percent plus you could receive 100 percent plus more water in gallons per minute each 100 feet not drilled you save 2500 dollars plus computer-generated target well log. If a 15 to 500 plus gallon per minute aquifer resides under your parcel, the computer will see it 100% of the time. 
well at depth 245 feet 150 gallons per minute. This is a referral where the neighbor had just gone through the pains of drilling a 1,000 foot dry hole. Which are selected site? Selected a site within 100 yards of the dry hole that resulted in a 250 gallon per minute output. Bob has an existing 12 to 15 gallon per minute well. Radar Water selected three possible well sites. We hit 75 gallons a minute at 75 feet, 100 gallons per minute at 180, 150 gallons per minute at 240 feet. Well depth, 245 feet, 150 gallons per minute. No need to drill 800 plus feet. For high capacity water wells, you will need to drill into a highly fractured zone. Water resides in fractures. The computer identifies fractured, porous earth. If this well was developed to maximum potential, it could have produced 500 gallons per minute. At 370 feet, 300 gallons per minute. Very nice. When there is an aquifer system passing through your parcel, we will see it 100% of the time. Many drillers will shy away from computer targets due to the complexity of fracturing. They will try and move off of the target to a degree or not drill to specified depths. 300 gallons per minute at 370 feet. Yes, there is water on top of hills. Our assessment stems from what the computer generates. Has nothing to do with valleys, trees, or rock outcropping. Rainbow, California, San Diego County, below is Highway 15, 35 gallons a minute at 325 feet. This hilltop is around 225 feet above the lower road. Rainbow Heights Road, Fallbrook, California. Neighbor, 225 feet lower in elevation, drilled 1,000 feet, received 10 gallons per minute. This driller used water witching or water wishing. Not valleys or rock outcroppings. The topography only gives one a general idea of fracture orientation. It's the geomorphic expression in the subsurface that carries the fracture signature. Truths about electroseismic EKS or seismoelectric SES technique and water witching. See videos for a lot more info. Where to avoid this excerpt was taken off of the GroundFlow webpage, the developers of EKS, and they are stating where to avoid sedimentary deposits. Those are unconsolidated zones, sandy zones, where water would collect, such as river basins, boulder beds, and gravel zones. These are detrital zones. Water flows freely within gravel zones. Where to avoid? Cavernous limestones. Listen closely. Water-filled caverns 
are too large and permeable to image using EKS. Water only collects in unconsolidated rock formations, that is, cavernous formations, fracturing, sandstones, sedimentary rock formations, boulder beds, gravel beds called detrital zones, sedimentary deposit formation, such as sandy zones. Here is a web page address that's still viable. Geological Licensing Board of the State of Oregon has requested that I investigate your methods and claims. Apparently, an individual in this state is using your methods and equipment. I have talked to several SEG geophysicists, that is, Society Exploration Geophysicists, and exchanged email with several others regarding EKS and seismoelectric methods. The consensus seems to be that this technique is still in the R&D stage and not ready for routine use in geophysical application. However, your website suggests otherwise. Please respond. Although I did post the article to SEG, it was not an endorsement. There has been much work done attempting to merge electrical and acoustical data to produce refined interpretation of the subsurface. But the EKS claims of reading recessivity produced by a seismic wavefront with an instrument that has no scientific vetting or peer review is unfounded. It's a black box. As far as I know, electrokinesis has never been acceptedly proven as a reliable technique for groundwater or any other kind of exploration mapping. The most efficient way to site your boreholes is to hire a reputable geophysical consulting firm with a track record in this kind of mapping. You can tell by the articulation that an educated person wrote this. What method should I use or should I not use? Water witching EKS. I never should have listened to the driller. See EKS and water witching videos. Important notes. The heart of the aquifer is normally two to five hundred feet in depth. Do not drill to 1,000 feet. Drilling blindly, many wells are drilled down past 600 feet to 800, 1,000, 1,500 feet. Ouch! Deep wells are not electric efficient. Electricity will cost more than the water. Trick of the trade. Well that actually is a low producer driller will let it sit overnight to fill up. Each vertical foot holds one gallon. Then control the air pressure to push out a certain gallons a minute to make the customer happy and to get paid. If the pump turns off or cycles, you got shafted. Driller will say either we had an earthquake and it restricted the water flow or during drilling, we were in a pocket of water and you pumped it dry. Aspen Drilling. He's a witcher. Stated to me and a client that a person took him to small claims court and a judge made Rick pay the full amount back to the homeowner. Read the decision. Find out what court the hearing was held in San Diego. Steely Brothers Drilling stated to a prospective client that it is illegal for a driller to select a drilling target, call them to get the actual code requirements and to see if that statement is true.
Water witching is water wishing. See PowerPoint on water witching or I will give you a third grade demonstration. Any driller that does water witching or recommends water witching knows that he is sticking it to you. Wherever you drill, you will hit some water, something, maybe even squat. Before payment, make sure you can fill up the water tank in one pumping. Pump should not cycle on and off. EKS or SES See also part three of four on EKS and see the EKS PowerPoint for a more complete understanding. Contact the Society Exploration Geophysicists in Texas for info on the electroseismic EKS. Papers are nothing. For a drilling target, don't be penny wise and pound foolish. You will just make the driller rich. Drillers selling an intangible have learned to prey on your inner desires for water. People hire the driller not because of his drilling abilities, but in a belief that he will find you water. It's false. Not only drillers, but others in the geophysical field pull the same sales stunt. It's effective. If you utilize other methods for a drilling target after reviewing these PowerPoints and do not receive sufficient water, pony up and pay the driller. All educations cost. Go with a more honest driller. Don't be a guinea pig. It will cost you bucks. A driller recently told a client, you need to drill to 1500 feet. You have a choice. See other PowerPoint videos. Water locating, water witching, learn what it really is, water locating, EKS, do's and don'ts, electroseismic, now termed seismoelectric, SES, originally known as electrokinesis.